All right, what's going on, everybody? We're playing. Bro, what, what am I playing again? The Crew. The Crew Motorfest. This is my first time ever playing this game. Uh, so it is a trial. I'm not sure what to really expect. I know it's racing. Uh, I think it's like the first one in the Crew series. Actually, one of the three games that exist in this damn franchise. It looks more like they're trying to do it like the best of those for Forza sort of Horizon. That's what it looks like. Fine, I guess, but. It's basically giving us like a Wi Fi. So, we're playing the game for. 30 minutes of max. Expert sense. I don't really like the name he has. Welcome to Hawaii, everyone. Look alive. You're at the Motor Fest. That was right. Our generic character. All right, so we got this is the most politically diverse friends I've ever seen. Let's go with her. Distract the competition. Again. All right, everyone, settle down. I know you're all excited. That chopper ride is always a trip. So, welcome again to the Motorfest. I'm Malu, the Motorfest PR, and I'm here to get you up to speed. You are our special guests, athletes, festival. We get it, it's racing. Put me in the race. Here we go. Where the hell am I? Wow, this is so vibrant. Fantastic. What did I say earlier? Oh, I don't need no traction control or anything. Like that. That's not fair. Very spun out. Made in Japan is the way to experience Japanese car culture. It's where tarmac meets tradition. Made in Japan, attack Hawaii back city in. Streets, this Greece. neon journey is not one to miss. Anything Hawaii or Japan came to us. for you is what I call a perk of the job. Right in the center of all the action, racing these Japanese drift masters, just awesome. Shot and it comes back to you and it comes back to you. Oh, 
kind of off is the timing. Here. Is that the GMC Hummer? The driving one? off road gives you an opportunity to carve your own path, to explore the open expanse. And the I island the becomes one. your playground. Total freedom becomes your creed. As though have they released yet? Oh, they're still in production. The Hummer GMC is back. I haven't seen one yet. They're like about 150 grand. A lot for a car that's basically paying for a condo. A decent condo is like three rooms. Four by fours, pickups, quads. You're given every chance to go off the beaten path. It's like buffering. The audio keeps on going in and out. Going so fast. I have modern technology. But the next playlist is all about the competition. Oh. Aptly named oh. Motorsports Playlist, this one is for the pros. Pros? Man, I'm a pro. is built around racing to the top, the thrill of competing, but it's also about strategic choices, decision-making under pressure. Hey, that's a foul. Penalty, dog. There is no better feeling than triumphing with your team in what some consider the apex of motorsports. to go for a pit stop, checking on your rivals, it gets intense. They're a lot better on this event. Oh. Okay, that was a little bit more smoother now. But then, I got to go old school. Vintage garage. A playlist for the true car aficionado. Ooh, is this a Shelby? Shelby. Is there a way to turn off the radio? Don't want to deal with audio. Gameplay music. That off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't want to think. Talk With these right. cars, it's not just about the look or the nostalgia. It's how these things drive. How they feel, how they steer, 
It was quite a challenge. In the best way possible. Outside of some collector car park, when would you ever get a chance to take these venerable legends for a spin? That's the power of Vintage Garage. A taste of an age where there was no nitro to boost you and no GPS to guide you. Feels strangely comforting. Dan. Get away from me, Dan. Betty and Mary. Come over here, Betty. Oh my goodness. All right, we're, I'm kind of done with all this. So, uh, out with the old and in with the new, they say. The next playlist is legendary. Lamborghini. A playlist Lamborghini. to experience the iconic, the trailblazer. I'm running out of adjectives here. Yes, you are. I was getting really annoying. I just want to get into the game. i of all these damn that Lamborghini logo, you knew what this playlist was going to be. Some of the most recognizable car designs in existence at your disposal. You know as a multi-billionaire is going to buy Lamborghini. No reason. Unless like you ran out a damn, I don't know, freaking track or something. When in the world are you ever going to go this Cars look cool now, but I don't know. Riding the full roster of these legends was a rare privilege. A privilege Motorfest graciously gave me. And now, it's your turn. I'm gonna buy myself a decent house to play this. Like what you saw? Well, no, those, I want to get into the once game. Once you pick your car, I'll hand you over to Kara, your personal AI assistant. Another when freaking doubt, Miata and a Honda S2000. Oh you. no, this is a Honda S2000. This is a... I forgot, it's a BMW. It's a Z4 convertible. I've actually driven one of these before. When I worked at the car dealership, uh, right next door to our dealership, I worked at Mercedes. There was a BMW right next door. Time to time, I'll drive these. There are. They're all right. Wouldn't really. You go through a lot of brakes. I don't know what the hell they're made of. They're probably made of plastic or some bullshit. But every time one of these would always come in, it would be like brake fluid issues and stuff. No thanks. Made in Japan. Playlist cleared and ready for takeoff, driver. I remember that shake it up 
Special Link and... To give you a taste of Japanese racing culture. Oh yes, Japanese racing culture. Holy, totally big ass, obvious food here. Some sort of experiment. Options. Game settings, metric. Girl. Freestyle, speedometer. Crew widget. saying you guys know like those youtube channels that are like all american or whatever like, it's all made in america but they use kilometers why why do you makes sense like the youtubers are like from across the atlantic ocean Man, we just use anything for like metric. Anything. We use human bodies, elephants, giraffes. We we'll use anything now. Damn. Six feet to unlock. Five photo ops available. Fast travel to container unlocked. Good to know. Another activity awaits. Kidding me? I went. I came all the way over here to the lot. There's the a next special next gathering place. tonight at the Japanese temple. The start of a whole new experience. Here's what to expect when getting there a traditional Japanese summer vibe and lots of Kyusha cars. Meaning, iconic, classic, and made in Japan. On top of this, expect some exciting encounters. Made in Japan, a fucking four foot. Best has got some killer people to introduce you to an authentic Japanese racing experience. Don't worry, you'll meet them soon enough. Honda NSX? Damn, they're just gonna loan me that? Right. If you say so. Ooh. Last time I had driven one of these was back when I played Project 
asked us to show you how it's done, but we don't do free tours here. You gotta play your part and give us a bit of a challenge. No pressure at all. Yeah, don't scare the kid, brother. Are you familiar with the Honda you're driving? The MSX isn't your regular streetcar. It was made back in the 90s to stand neck and neck with the likes of Ferrari and Porsche. You sound just like Shingo. Speaking about Shingo, you know that if a rookie beats us with his NSX, we won't hear the end of it, right? I don't even want to think about giving Shingo the satisfaction. Better focus and win this thing, then. What a fucking pussy-ass bitch. This dude cuts the corner to pass me up. What a fucking coward. Oops. Stands for New Sports Car Bomb. Experimental. I wasn't asking you, Hina. Are we fucking getting you know about cars? Shut the fuck up. Come on, lights. Oops, I just crashed the motor car. I was right behind you, buddy. Shut your dumb ass up. Get the fuck out of the car and get the shit out of me right now. <laughs> just get out of the car and just punch him in the fucking neck. What's his name? Hayato? Yeah, it sounds like a wuss. This is the only car we have, the one that we were using earlier on. That is hilarious. That's all I got. I got suspension. That's all I got.
at our next event. Alright, I am here. Ooh, I could use a Skyline? No way. Being loaned a Nissan Skyline GTR. Yay. Cool looking car, but overrated. Oh, I just figured like the whole freaking car. It's a nice car, though. I personally just wouldn't. Yeah, I'll probably own one. I like cars, but I'm not really that into cars. I only collect the car. Hey there. Word in the street is that you shine like a real hasheria with my NSX. Got me interested. Well, then I believe you're in for a treat. Oh, yeah? Well, bring it on. It sounds like he's like, you're a this way. I have to crash the loaner car. Show continues, kid. But watch out, you're driving Ren's Skyline this time, and there's no word to tell you how crazy she is about that car. Can't blame her. The R34 is a legend. It's a kaiju. Is the R34 legal in the US now? In more than 25 years? Skyline is an icon. It's a powerful car that takes skill to control. Yep. Ren spent years taming that beast. That car got nicknamed Godzilla for a reason. So basically, you crash Ren's car, better leave the planet. Imagine loaning your car to a new driver to that just arrived to the city like no more than like 24 hours ago. Perfect to get a taste of the Wangen spirit. An absolute myth among Japanese street racers. Yeah, picture the Tokyo Basho route with one thing in mind, never slowing down. You gotta go fast, friend. Well, guys, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. This is the skyline we're talking about. These dragons are massive. You got a wish to make? Sharp turn, careful. Supposedly because he was dazzled by the moonlight. Oh, shut up. I remember that. Somebody's trying to elbow their way through. Are you fucking kidding me? Go fuck yourself in the top three, bro. I tried catching up, I, I can't do shit. I wanna go into this fucking game and literally just bash that guy's head against the corner with that fucking ball. I'm done playing this. You guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, this game is, uh, Oh, man, it's 
Not fun. It's fun, but it's gonna be one of those grind fest things, so. Uh, I'm glad I played the trial, but I'll, I don't think I'll find myself ever playing this game. But. You gotta take care. Peace out.